I was one of a number of journalists at the time who were posted overseas to get publicity for Australia and hopefully to attract migrants to join the large numbers who'd come in the large-scale immigration program since the Second World War. And being in Greece, I had the additional handicap of working within the parameters of a military junta. The colonels, George Papadopoulos and co, were in power and naturally they discouraged emigration because it could become a measure of their popularity. So we had to find any means of publicising Australia and a mention of Australia in the press was counted as a score for us. It's a wonderfully warm human interest story that is timeless, but to understand how it came to be made we have to go back to 1972 and find that Arthur Fralingus, then 72 himself, was coming back to Greece, to the island of Kithera, to meet his sister for the first time. We came, came to Kithera a week after Arthur had actually arrived, and because the ferry boat only came in once a week, we had to hire a fishing boat, which you see in the film. First of all, we had to go up on the mountainside and capture a goat, shove it in the boot of the island's only taxi that we'd commandeered for getting around the island, and pass it over to the chef for the feast the next day. This feast was quite remarkable. And then a wonderful thing happened. A very old woman started to sing, just spontaneously, and she was singing songs about the island of Aphrodite, which is Kithra. A lot of people from Kithera and other parts of Greece spent half the year in Australia and half the year back home. Uh, we had a woman and her husband from Parramatta who had the only private car on the island, it seemed, following us everywhere and getting in every shot. Mysteriously, someone knew the Deputy Prime Minister Patakos and that enabled us to put this film on as the lead-in to the opening ceremony of the 1972 Munich Olympic Games. So I would say just about everyone in Greece saw this film and it went to air. I saw it with a group of about 20 Greeks and I was quite, quite moved myself to find at the end of the film they were all crying.